just do this again. Hi, my name is Lisa and this is my first lab ever. My apologies for any inconvenience. Um, uh, I hope um, you, you'll continue to watch. Um, okay, possible ways to deal with, with fear. Uh, there are, of course, many, uh, many ways to deal with fear. One of the ways is uh, not to walk away from that, but, but uh, to walk towards fear. Basically embrace it because um, once you don't um, acknowledge it that you've got fear it can go bigger and bigger um, um, as an angel therapist for example it's possible to ask Archangel Michael Archangel Michael is um, uh, an angel who can take away any uh, fe uh, feelings of guilt and of fear and basically what Archangel Michael says is that having a feeling of fear is the, uh, only uh, no longer being connected with with source, uh, source energy or God or divine energy or whatever you call it. And um, Archangel Michael says that, of course, he can give you strength and he, of course, he can give you a, a feeling of a sense of security and safety. But um, what he would like for anyone, for all people, is to be uh, to be always connected uh, and aligned to source energy. So as to once you're connected to that, um, you feel um, you feel that you've got more faith and that um, you don't f uh, fear much longer. Uh, not, um, uh, I can get Sarah uh, Sarah online any. I'm yeah. so happy that you're here. Hi, well, everyone, this is Sarah. She She's yeah. from originally from the UK and she now lives in France. I'm so happy you're here. So I'm not longer, you know, no longer talking to myself. So, um, well, uh, I, was, I was saying, so I already covered Archangel Michael and I already covered the Jinjin Yutsu. And, um, well, you can tell us a little bit about what you do and about the flower essences you work with and about the... A possible ways of uh, dealing with fear in a natural way and you do it with essences right and, and natural oils I do I work very much with nature yes okay so I'm really relieved I'm here because I'm sitting here I was already with my cup of tea and I'm surrounded by pictures of flowers but anyway as you said it's our first blab or yeah well, experience as well so yes um, I'm a flower essence practitioner the flower essence yes. trainer and I actually came to flower essences myself because I had been locked into many years of fear and anxiety myself. And they really opened a door for me to live my life in a different way. So I, for a long time, I took them myself. Then I became a practitioner. Mm -hmm. I trained people. I run a diploma in flower and vibrational medicine. Yeah, you said the other day. That's, that's so lovely. Yeah. How, how long, is it like a course or a workshop? What do you do? It is. It's um. It's a practitioner diploma, so it's um. Okay. It's, been, it's a year long. Um, it's oh, on. Wow. That's a long time. We have meetings as well, attended meetings, and now I live in France. People come down to France to do that with me, and really? yeah, my passion is very much about getting people out there, getting um, therapists out there who can help people with nature. Okay, well, so when, once you've got like your your attendees or your your uh, students in in France, do you like actually go outside and and pick herbs yourself or plants or flowers? What do you do? I mean, as part of the practitioner diploma, you don't have to make essences yourself, but it is oh, something. Okay. To do. It's one of the loveliest things to do in life. It's one of if I'm going to do anything, my favorite thing in the whole world is making flower essences because it's oh. very much in with nature. So yes. people haven't made a flower essence before. It's very, very easy to do. Shall I share a little bit how, as to how you yeah, do absolutely. it? Yeah, absolutely. And which, which, which flowers, for example, you know, are like specifically for anxiety or for fear? Okay. Um, well, any flower really can deal with fear. Um, oh, really? Okay. Fear is such a big... I mean, there are specific ones, of course, and I've got some pictures. I can show you that in a second. But we all have different reasons for being fearful. I mean, mm -hmm. we can, what I'm fr frightened of is probably something that you might not be, and what you're really frightened of, I might not be. So we've all really got very different ways of looking at that. Um, yes. If you have... As we come into spring now, if you have 
a flower in your garden or, mm -hmm. or if you go for a walk even if you live in the city or you see a flower in a shop and it it calls to you in some way and there's a part of you that goes oh that is really 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 beautiful i really love that then some way that flower is having a dialogue with you um, now, if you have permission, let's say you have a garden or even if you have a balcony in a city, you can still do this. Um, you, you take a bowl. It could be just yeah. um, it could be a glass just from your kitchen okay. to do it in a simple way. And you put some fresh water in there, tap water, preferably not because it's quite yucky in energy. Yeah, so. it's, got it's sort of got like chemicals in it, like so like yeah. purified or whatever water. Yes, Absolutely. or bottled water if that if that's. Yeah board okay. as well and then you ask the plant you ask the flower or the tree for their permission in helping you and the traditional way of doing it is that you actually cut the flower and then you place it in the bowl of water and you put it into sunshine and you leave it there for several hours you remove the flower and what you've actually got is kind of potentized water energized water from the flower and that is your flower essence and then there's a process of if you want to keep it you can right. use brandy and that's the ones you find in the shop they are they are preserved usually in some kind of alcohol but for you, just using it for yourself you could you could drink the water you could put it in your bath you could mist it around you um yeah and you can also you don't have to cut the flower either you can literally um just place the flower uh, the bowl of water underneath the flower oh right okay will that's will gather that energy but, but you just said that like you can use any flower for fear so how how would that work i mean you know i mean i'm um i'm known with like for example bark remedies you know like mimulus or stuff like that mm -hmm. so you know that's for fear and anxiety so i i always assumed or i thought i knew that specific flowers are for specific emotions they are they absolutely are absolutely and well what i've got here is some uh, some pictures actually of some flowers and um, for anybody that's watching in what i would say is that what is the flower we need to try and keep our heads out of this too much because it's yeah. actually flower will dialogue with your heart okay um, whichever picture you like is probably the best one for you so here's this is one of the batch ones this is um rock road Oh right, okay. That looks lovely. Okay, that yes. looks very familiar. Familiar. I mean, we've got them here in Holland too. So, so rock rose is is for kind of well. There's different f kinds of fear, isn't there? There's kind of like, oh, I'm a bit scared. Like, oh, I'm going on my first blab. Oh no, I can't get in. You know, oh dear, this is embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, well, we we just needed an entire bottle for that. Then uh, at least I know I I did. I was yeah. just sitting here talking to myself before you before you arrived. Rock Rose is more absolute terror. Okay, well, no, I was not terrified. I was just talking to myself for a while. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. No, but this is for, you know, if you're absolutely terrified of something. Okay. It, to the extent where you possibly feel you might not survive. Oh, okay. Well, no, I, I will survive my first blip. Don't worry. <laughs> so rock rose, most of us have some connection with that. There's something in life. There's something about going forward that it's almost like, will I survive this if I do it? We're kind of going into the soul portal here, but these are the flowers that wanted to be shown today. Okay. Which is the batch, the batch essence as well. Oh. Also, this is cherry plum. Oh yeah, lovely. Okay, I love that. I love that. Yeah, cherry plum is is for a kind of more of an acute, whereas this is kind of like more of a chronic fear. Okay. More possibly a more of an acute fear where you're very very frightened. Maybe um, mm -hmm. there's a kind of like a panic attack kind of thing. You know, where there's yes. of energy in the body and it's you maybe tremble a little bit and you sweat a little bit. That is that sort of fear. You don't have to okay. tremble and sweat to be able to get a bit from No, no, okay. Oh, that's, that's so interesting. It's lovely. It also works very well for hot flashes. Oh, okay. Well, Anything okay. Well, not quite there yet, but I'll keep it in mind for future references. 
Yeah, so that's cherry plum. It's very beautiful. Cherry and very plum. Beautiful. Okay. I haven't got a photo of Mimulus, but if there's anybody listening who's um, familiar with Mimulus, then um, it's a great essence as well for fear. For some reason, her photograph didn't want to appear. It's not dissimilar. It's a yellow yeah. flower. Like this. It's yes, beautiful. it looks like it's it's, it's similar. Yes, we, I, in the past I've given it to, to cats who are like. You know, for example, uh, with New Year's Eve's when they are like really uh, scared for fireworks and stuff, or they've got all kinds of fears. You know, my, we we give a little bit of mimulus, and then uh, they sort of calm down a little bit. So, yeah, so yeah. mimulus is very good for anything you know about. So, I'm frightened of fireworks. I'm frightened mm -hmm. of flying. I'm frightened of doing my first blab. Um, whatever it is you're frightened of, I'm frightened of going to the doctors. You actually know about the fear. With something like this, this is kind of a deeper, more pervading fear. Okay. Um, so some of the other ones that wanted to come up, again, this is a yeah. bark or batch flower. This is serrato. Oh, one. yeah. Serrato is for mm -hmm. trusting your heart. Okay, it's beautiful. It's a choice to make in life that makes us fearful. Sometimes yes, we we look to see what other people do. We compare ourselves with others. We look at all sorts of, we look outside ourselves basically. So, or, so basically, this is like maybe a flower that to also um, become more your yourself, so to speak, instead of looking towards others and comparing yourself, you know, with others. That's more like a flower to to become your own or to become yourself or whatever you call it. Absolutely, yes. It, okay. it, it helps you listen to your own heart and make your own decisions from your right from the right place. So if you okay. have to make a decision that is maybe fearful, this will help you make a decision that's very much in alignment with your heart and your soul. It's also very, very calming. It's one of one of the first flowers okay. that I would think of if somebody was fearful. And of course it has this lovely blue, which is a very soothing ray. It's soothing colour anyway, yes quite different isn't it i mean they they have very different vibrations you can see oh yeah they do so um and then there was just another couple of others there's this one here this is from my own range which is moonflower essences is that the right way yes that oh, one. That's, well that's beautiful is it what it yeah. it's, it's, a, it's it's a red rose oh gorgeous and red, red really... rose is very much for feeling safe okay so, like remember when I, I guess everybody listening to this remembers the kind of safety you feel when you're I mean this might not be applicable to everybody but you know when you're at your grandma's house and you feel terrible yeah. you're really looked after or there's somebody in your life that kind of holds your hand as you go forward yes it gives you a lot of courage because it helps you okay. feel safe Okay, that's gorgeous. And is that like, okay, it's a red rose, but is it any rose? Is it like a Pacific kind of rose? Or, you know, you can just go out in the garden. Oh, uh, Lorraine says, we used to make rose petal perfume as children. A bowl of water in the garden, happy memories. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you for sharing. That's yeah, lovely. Yeah. See that. yeah, absolutely. I think a lot of us did, actually. I think a lot of people who are, work with nature did do that. I did that as well. Sorry. So yeah. So I mean, you can use any rose. I mean, okay. if you know the name of it, it's fine as well. Because like, like, just like us, flowers like it when we know their names. They like to be recognised. Yes, I do. Um, but you know, it doesn't really matter. When I first, this this was actually one of the first essences I ever made. Okay. And it was in a friend's garden. She had this wall that was completely covered with red roses, and we kind of went, "Oh, let's make an essence." And so we turned up the next morning ready to do that with all the equipment. And we thought it was going to be for passion. And we were kind yes. of laughing a bit. Oh, because it was it's a rose. Passion. Yeah. So not that at all. It was very much about courage. Okay. Yeah. And then there's um, a couple more. And I chose okay. them. They chose themselves because they, they are very different. This is a wind flower. Or some oh, different. It's like, I Oh right, okay. Never, never heard of it. It looks, uh, from what I can see, tiny. It looks like a thistle or something, but it's not. Well, actually, uh, this is the bud. It's very soft. It's it's the um, okay. 
the homeopathic remedy pulsatilla is made from this flower. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's also um, uh, nerve calming, right? Yes. Yes, yeah. absolutely. When this flower opens, she's got a beautiful yellow center. She's oh, very gorgeous. And a little bit like her name, she mm -hmm. keeps us strong. She keeps us, um, yeah, well, she does keep us strong, but she keeps us, when the winds of life blow, yes stay straight and up. okay if you're going okay through. and do they, do they um, grow in france where, near where you live i haven't seen them yet in france i made this in the uk we had these in my garden in the uk um i haven't seen them here yet i hope they look grow in france yeah okay so, so you can see yeah. that all, lots of different colors here so they they they're all different but they can all be for fear and then there's okay. just one last one, which again might be quite known to some people. This is this is larch. This is one of oh, the right. best. Yeah, larch is for confidence. Oh, that's beautiful too. It's been a kind of great essence for us both to take just before we do our first blab, or any time you're going to get, do something that takes you out of your comfort zone, um, and you need courage and confidence. But it, it's not a kind of I'm shaking in my boots kind of one. It's just I need some confidence. You know, I need to put my shoulders back. I need yes. to keep in my voice. And I just need to, you know, embody who I am, really. Yes. Oh, that's so lovely. Yeah, thank you. I that's chose cool. a card before I came on as well. And, okay, uh, tell me. You laugh. Let me just read it to you. It's from... Uh, okay these Hayes power thought cards there. oh yeah I love those yeah they're good it says, um, I now go beyond other people's fears and limitations well that's perfect it's like like spot on for the for this today's I kind of, lab I kind of laughed when I saw it so yeah yeah oh yeah it's it's neat so yeah and oh actually there is one more that's here oh one more. okay yes this is bumblebee. Uh, oh, bumblebee. Okay, I love bumblebees. And um, bumblebee is made from a range of essences called wild earth animal essences. And they're actually made shamanically. They're channeled essences. So oh, really? Vibrational essences. And um, You may know, and people listening might know, that bumblebees technically can't fly. Their wingspan isn't large enough. But they do. Yeah. Nobody ever told them that they can't yeah. fly. Why? Yes. So the message of Bumblebee is, I am strong, I am supremely confident, and I am capable of accomplishing what I used to believe was impossible. Wow, that's a really powerful message. It's beautiful. Uh, Laurie says, I love that. Yeah. It's you really call yeah. It Bumblebee. I mean, if you have flower essences, I mean, you know this, Lisa, um, from your work with angels. If we have them, then that's great. But if you're watching this and um, you haven't, you don't have any of these bottles or you don't really know what they are, just call on the flower mm -hmm. or call on Bumblebee or the yes. tree. And they well, come yeah, it's the same thing, like, you know, like I would call upon, for example, you know, Archangel Michael or any other, you know, you can even call on your spirit guides or you can call upon your own guardian angel, you know, when you when you being in, in fear and, um, you know, you can ask something like, uh, dear Archangel Michael, uh, please for uh, uh, thank you for helping me with my fear today. I'm, I'm willing to trade in my fear for safety and, um, you know, and your guidance, for example. You know, and it already helps you to bring down the energy and to be less fe fearful and to be, be more confident, basically. So, yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. 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 So those are the flowers that wanted to come along today. Um, okay. People right. don't know what flower essences look like. I mean, this is actually a bottle of bumblebee essence. Oh, right. They come in bottles like this. I mean, they look different. I mean, this is a batch essence, but they, they, mm -hmm. they look in bottles like that. And what you do is you literally um, complete, you, you take a drop under your tongue or you can put a drop in your cup of tea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. There's, there's no contraindications at all. The only contraindication really is that they usually are preserved in alcohol. So mm -hmm. for children, it's usually not an issue. 
because it's just a drop of alcohol but you need to check in obviously with parents um yes them right down into water you can put them in your bath you can put them in your creams okay yeah alongside medication there's there's no contraindications as a good friend of mine said once the only contraindication is just be careful because they you know if you don't want if you really don't want to get better don't take them <laughs> oh well yeah that's very good advice yeah i mean i used to um like also use them for for pets for example and because of they contained alcohol I, I did not necessarily want to give it for example to my dog so the only thing i needed to do was you know they had their bench with all their blankets and stuff and, and like that i just used to take a bottle and place it in their bench and um, w w once it was enough for them, that they either went to sleep out outside of their bench or for some reason they just pushed the, the bottle outside of the bench and then I knew it was enough for them and the, or the essence had already worked for them. So, Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the one thing that you can do with animals with essences that they really like, which kind of gets past the alcohol thing as well, if you just put a drop in your palm of the yeah. essence and then stroke them, generally speaking they love it oh yeah. right okay you can that's a very good it. idea um you can also put some on your fingertips basically with an animal i mean you, you the animal will tell you what they like you to do i mean they're very yes, they would. so doing what you did is perfect just putting it in their space yeah stroke their fur or sometimes animals really like it if you put some in your palm and then put it on your fingers and then you just like do the insides yeah. of Yes. Yeah, yeah I do. I do. I also I sometimes also did the, the inside of the ears. You know that they love it, and we're like, you know, they start making this noise, like, oh, you know, if it's a dog, and then yeah, they they loved it. Yeah, just animal, gently yeah. rub it. You on just and put then. A um, we I've worked with animals who've actually, if you put the bottle in their bed or on the floor. If they like it, they will move towards it. And I worked a few years ago with a cat who had epilepsy and he was very, very helped with essences. And um, when he liked an essence, he would actually go and sit on it. So his heart chakra was actually directly on the essence. And he would, you know how okay. cats sit like this? He'd actually put his body on the, on the bottle. Yeah. Yeah, well, they, they can, they can, you know, they can choose themselves. I once had several essences in a row, and um, I asked my, you know, dog to to say which one do you do you want, and you know, she just knew intuitively which one she she basically needed. You know, I'm also a kinesiologist, so I could muscle test myself which mm. one, you know, she needed. But I'm all even with animals and pets. I'm all for. Uh, that they uh, make their own decisions, not only you know, not only with clients, with human clients, but also with animals. So if you can give them a choice, if they're not too ill, basically, and they can get up and and tell you know, say which essence they want, they can choose them their, their selves. I mean, the yeah. same with, with what I did with angel cards. You know, I I, I used to. Um, you know, put all the like uh, all the angel cards in, in like in a fan before for my dog, and then she would sniff them, and then very gently with the teeth, you know, would pull them, pull one out, and then just spit it out, put it on the floor, and that w would be the message for her for for that day. And she just, you know, she, she did that, so that was lovely. Wow, yeah, that is amazing. I mean, I've we have a we have some cats now, and. Um, they tell us very clearly how they would like essences. They are more cats that um, they don't necessarily like them in their food or water, although we do oh. do it. We tend to use them topically, or sometimes for a bit of fun as well. We lay a whole load of cards out on the carpet, and either they will walk away, or we have one right. cat who actually goes and chooses his card. He will actually sit on top of the card. Okay. Well, yeah. Why not? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, so they're very, very easy ways to help people with fear. Um, they can't, they can't do you any harm. No, sometimes they do you an awful lot of good. They're not expensive to buy. Very easy to use. You can use them during pregnancy. You can use them when you're very poorly. Both ends of life. Yeah, and you, so you you say that you make them yourself. Do you have a, like a web shop? Do you sell them online or? How could people get in touch with you and buy them 
from yep. you. The website is moonflowersences.com. Okay. If you type that right now. This is not perfect for this actual blab, but I've just really, well, a few months ago I relocated to France and my shop went offline for many different reasons. Um, and it's not actually quite back online right now. So Moonflower Essences does exist, but the shop is due to go live again quite soon, but it's not actually right at this moment, which is not very helpful, I know. Um, but people are, you can go and find the site um, and the shop will be live. We're, we're kind of, um, learning french postage and all such other wonderful oh, things all right okay well, that's interesting are you are you going to have like a bilingual website are your is your website going to be in french and in english i don't know or, actually. you're not it's, sure yet okay no, probably just english it really depends how this how what works in france now i mean my business is in is online so it doesn't matter yeah. where I live, really. And it was deliberately set up so that I could, because we knew we were going to relocate. Um, so, yeah. Okay, well, I mean, I've just got a question from um, from Laurie. She says, whereabouts in France are you? I'm just outside Bordeaux, Laurie. Okay. Oh. Okay, where, where do you live, Laurie? I don't know, I think UK, but I'm, I don't know. Oh, she says, beautiful, lovely area. Oh, and Fabas says hello from Iraq. Well, we've got we're very international. Oh, we've got Jersey, just of Saint Malo. I love Saint Malo. That's Lori, and I'm called, we've got Fabas from Iraq, and then me from the Netherlands, and Sarah in France. So it's like really international group uh, this morning mm -hmm. or this afternoon, depend, depending on where you are, of course. I would imagine there's some beautiful flowers in Iraq. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I've never been to Iraq. I mean, there must be like di different ones. I mean, the climate is totally different than Northern Europe. So they must have their. Uh, oh, he's. Uh, oh, and there's got another one from Algeria. Hello. Nice yeah. to meet you. So, I mean, that would be interesting, you know, to getting to know all the different flowers from all the different countries. I mean, the. the Maybe the, the essence it would be, I can only imagine, be different from different countries. Yeah, I mean, I always think um, essences are a little bit like wine. I mean, they're not wine, but a flower or a tree um, is very linked to the earth that it grows upon. So let's say I make a red rose essence and you, Lisette Anne, make a, a red rose essence and Laurie makes one in Jersey. And then the, the people that are here from Algeria and Iraq as well, you make them. They would all be different. They would all have something similar because they carry yes. red and they carry rose, which is heart and it's courage and that kind of thing. But they'd all be different because our lands are all different and the climate well, is different and the weather is and different. I, I guess the nutrition in the in the um, in the soil is different. You know, I mean, Dutch soil is different from Jersey soil, from Iraq's uh, soil, or from Algerian soil. I guess so. The, the the flowers will have different nutritions in them and different, I don't know, essentials or chemicals or whatever you call them. And it's one of the reasons in the diploma that I teach, we look at ranges from all around the world because different oh. ranges have different um, uses. So, for yes. example, Australian bush essences carry the energy of Australia, which is a very yes. different energy from England. So Australian flowers yes. generally tend to be big and bold, generally speaking. Okay. Flowers in the UK are generally much muter and they're smaller. Oh, well, maybe really it's also to do with the climate, you know, when you're like in a warm country, you can open up. And then when you're in a small country, you, are, you know, presumably you, you protect your energy you, and maybe the, the heat and whatever. So absolutely so if a european living in a cold country needs some bold australian going out there big energy then those essences would be great um that you, you you essences aren't don't treat the physical but some kinds of some ranges of essences we feel more physically although they don't treat the physical you can actually feel them in your body sometimes okay. and that like the Alaskan range of essences is also one. And again, Australia and Alaska, there's like completely different energies. The Alaskan essences generally are quite small. Their colors, generally speaking, are much um, 
muta, you know, the whites and pink, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. And Alaskan flowers only have about four weeks of every year to bloom. Wow, because that's a short. Kind of, yeah, so they they, yeah. they have a job to do. They do it really quickly. Yes. So when you make an Alaskan essence, it works pretty quickly because the flower carries that energy. So, so just kind of linking in with everybody here that's from different continents or different countries, it's it's very interesting because each continent and each climate and each country has its own energy, which will then inform the nature that was there. Yes. Okay. Well, could you uh, maybe type in the your uh, email address or your website to to be so anyone you know, who would like to take it down can um, can read it. Yeah, I'll I, try you know, in. Just in I, the message. I, mean, I think in the in the live chat, yes. And then you, anyone who wants to to um, read it and write it down, can. Okay. So, um, well, probably. I'll give you um, the email of my training company because that's mostly you can go and visit um, Moonflower Essences. I'll put the website here. But as I say, the shop is not it's not open right now, and we're we're kind of working with the di di divine timing as to when that might open. If anybody's interested in learning about essences, um, then you can go to my training company, which is essentially flowers.com. There we go. Okay. That was lovely. Thank um, you. Yeah. And do you have like a, do you have a Facebook? I will I put in my website too, so anyone who would like to um, look me up can. And um, so yeah, my um, page is essentially flowers, like my training site. Oh, essentially flowers, like okay, yeah. Well, the same with with my Facebook. It, it's um. It's it's Lisette, and you can you can find me on uh, on Facebook on that name. Mm -hmm. So anyone wants to join me, you can do it over there. Yeah. Oh well, that's nice. That's it's lovely talking to you. Yeah, I've enjoyed it, and again, I'm sorry for being late. <laughs> no, that's fine. You know that that you know that made me f you know face my own fears about being on Blab on my own and just talking to. You know, like uh, at least Laurie, who I knew who was out there, but um, yeah, I was a bit fearful to be out, out here on my own, but it's all good, so and uh, that's fine. So I think we're, we're just um, 45 minutes in now. I mean, I think of those 45 minutes, I spoke to you about for half an hour. I think that's long enough for our first blab. So I uh, wish to thank everyone who joined us. Thank you very much. And for people who are watching the replay, my apologies for any um, mishap in the in the beginning. I hope you uh, nevertheless enjoy uh, the the whole uh, blab. And uh, maybe you know we, we can do another blab uh, sometime in the future, Sarah. That would be lovely. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. I've enjoyed being here and meeting everybody else that's live as well. Okay. Well, well. Let's take care and everyone. Oh, for, thank you for joining us and. Uh, Maybe see you next week. I'm doing uh, two blabs next week, two, b both on 11 o'clock uh, European Dutch time, uh, one with uh, Alison Sarah McKinley and one on Wednesday with uh, Victoria Komiski. And they'll both be about stress and stress-related issues. So that will be on next week, uh, Tuesday, 11 o'clock, and Wednesday, the 16th of March, 11 mm -hmm. o'clock in the morning. So if you could join us, that would be lovely. Okay, well, I'm going to pause recording. Thank you very much.